This is a conference where we have brought together many of our international partners. I think we've got nine countries represented this year. And the idea is what has everybody learned over the last 12 months that can help us all collectively iterate and evolve and push to be a better version of ourselves as educators and uh, active members of the dyslexic community. Our missions are aligned to empower kids who are dyslexic. And we're so fortunate that everyone can make the time and to also get up and speak to the amazing work that they're doing. Everybody is kind of sharing what they have discovered about delivering our program that has been useful, as well as tips about their own style in their schools or their organizations that may be beneficial to the group. And the hope is that everybody walks away not only with a sort of a, a larger toolbox of things they can access, but also feels as if we've created a genuine community of activists and uh, people that they can rely on, friends that they can turn to throughout the year when they need it. The journey of doing the work that we do can often be isolating insofar as it's a Herculean task to try to reconfigure or redirect the entire educational system to embrace the 20% that's left behind, which are people with dyslexia. And so my hope is that by having this interpersonal interaction both with a professional focus as well as recreational like going to the uh, you know local market or going surfing as a group the idea is that everyone will be able to put faces to names and know that they have those fellows those comrades those reliable partners wherever they may be that they can reach out to when they need a tip or suggestion or advice i feel like once a lot of teachers are exposed to this aspect. It's tied into what we are working currently on called the Universal Design of Learning, UDL. Students are going to love it and teachers are going to love it. There's a famous post, um, poster I like, to, I like to talk about online. There's a long queue where most people are going and they're going, it's, the sign on top is the wrong way. And then there are few people going the right way. And I've always had a problem with that poster because I'm like, but it's the responsibility of those people that are going the right way to come back and lead those people going the wrong way to find the right way. Hearing our dyslexic journey of all the people here turning into success stories, we don't let our success be for ourselves. We do not continue down the right path. We are deciding to go back and return to say, no, there's a better way for us to do things. It's so interesting to hear what everyone's doing across the globe and I mean because it it helps those of us who are about to launch some of the programs of course but then um, just between yesterday and today hearing everyone's story and what they're doing and then the slow kind of dawning realization on many of us organically of the connections between what's going on as well too and it just feels so natural to say oh these two things connect. I'm gathering my team, unpacking and deciding on what's the one thing this next school year we're going to do differently to incorporate it noticeably into our curriculum. You see how much love everyone has for their students, yes. mm. like how they want to empower them and that's across the board. And it's such a beautiful thing. I loved seeing all of these amazing countries represented and the problem is the same and the context is so different. <laughs>
And when Mohammed, who was speaking yesterday at the end about how he sees himself in his culture and giving us a lesson about who he sees himself as an Arab, how education for dyslexics is laid on top of that is so important and something that I didn't take into consideration. And then when uh, Jennifer and Josh were just presenting about America and how dyslexia is considered there, it's just so important to understand each of these unique cultures, the way that they see themselves and the way that they see dyslexia and how that education is integrated. The wonderful incentive of choosing another location where we have a local partner in a year from now and be able to report back is really exciting because this is our second annual conference and the first annual conference produced a sort of a game plan and now here we are discussing the results of that a year later. So if we can start to perpetuate this model. Uh, that's a very compelling uh, sort of a grassroots network um, and knowing the people who are here, the people we've invited, it is 100% doable. <laughs>